1,700 aircraft apprentices were on parade when Her Majesty the Queen came to Royal Air Force Station Halton to present the Queen's colour to number one school of technical training. Here the colour is marched on and placed against the piled drums in readiness for Her Majesty. After the royal salute, Her Majesty the Queen mounts a Royal Air Force Land Rover bearing her standard to inspect the escort squadron and main parade. This school at Halton was founded in 1920 and numbers in its long list of distinguished visitors many members of the royal family. The late King George VI inspected the station shortly before the war. But today is a very special royal occasion. Halton has earned the right to the Queen's colour and the Queen herself is here to present it. It is the first colour to be earned by an apprentice school and Halton is justly proud of the honour. The inspection is over. The colour is uncased by the Queen's orderlies and the Reverend Canon L. Wright, Chaplain-in-Chief, prepares for the consecration service. We are gathered here to consecrate this colour, the solemn symbol of our loyalty, and with it ourselves, our service and our life. May this colour never be unfurled, save in the cause of justice, righteousness and truth, let us pray. The entire parade joins in the simple service of consecration. As the service is brought to a close and the blessing is given, the presentation ceremony begins. To Sergeant Apprentice F.M.A. Hines goes the honour of receiving the colour on behalf of Number One School of Technical Training. The Commandant, Air Commodore J.G.W. Weston, hands the colour to Her Majesty. Commodore Weston, officers, staff, and apprentices of Number One School of Technical Training. I am very glad to be here today to present your new colour. As you know, your school was founded in the reign of King George V, my grandfather, and it owes its existence to the foresight and inspiration of Lord Trenchard who is here with us now. It was clear then, as it still is, that the Royal Air Force must be able to place the same reliance on the technical skill of its tradesmen as on the gallantry of its pilots and the experience and imagination of its commanders. I congratulate you on your drill and on the smartness of your turnout which are proof of your keenness and your quality. And I give you your colour in the knowledge that while you are here, you will guard it well. Let it also be a reminder to you of the trust that I place in the Royal Air Force. During your future service, you will, I know, strive to the utmost to be worthy of that trust and to maintain the unsullied standards of which this colour is a symbol. Air Commodore Weston replies to the Queen's speech. Your gracious presentation of the Queen's colour to this school is an historic 
and inspiring occasion. Historic, because this is Your Majesty's first visit to Halton, and because this is the first Queen's colour to be presented to an apprentice school. Inspiring, because it shows a continuing confidence in this school and in all those who have been trained here. The general salute is given to the Queen's colour, which is marched to its position in the colour escort in slow time. The escort squadron, composed of apprentices of the senior entry, the 63rd, marches past in review before Her Majesty. Halton today to watch this historic ceremony are many hundreds who trained here for their careers in the Royal Air Force. It is appropriate that an ex-Halton apprentice, Group Captain Donald Finlay, is in charge of the parade. The whole parade advances in review order. Now before the dais upon which stands the Queen, the colour and escort squadron followed by the main parade prepare to march off the parade ground. Parading before their Queen are many apprentices from the Commonwealth. For such is Halton's reputation today that recruits come from all over the world to work and train at this station that one day they may take their place alongside the skilled craftsmen who keep the aircraft flying in the Royal Air Force. Marching in perfect rhythm past the Queen, the massed bands and the station mascot are the last to leave the square. The ceremony is nearly over. Her Majesty the Queen now leaves the parade ground. Upon the young apprentices at Halton, she has bestowed a great honour, one that will be remembered with pride and serve as an inspiration to all who train here in the years to come. The Queen's colour is theirs. May it never be unfurled save in the cause of justice, righteousness and truth.